Hello fellow Ocarina players, this video is being made for DocJazz4's Ocarina Awareness Contest. I'm Ceramic Sky, and this is my entry for the Octutor category, and I thought what better way to spread Ocarina Awareness than to get out there and tell real people about real Ocarinas. Let's do it. Alright, so do you know what month this is? October. It is October, do you know what that means? that November's coming up. It does mean November's coming up. It also means that this is Ocarina Awareness Month wow. for October Ocarina. So, question number one. What is the Ocarina? It's the instrument that Link played in all those video games. Do you know what an Ocarina is? I saw an Ocarina. Really? Where did I see it? An Ocarina... Oh, is it from Kazakhstan? It's a musical instrument. Just that it was in a video game I played when I was a kid. I don't know. Thing if like this, have... where you... How do you know about the ocarina? Do I lose points if I say Zelda? No, you don't lose points if you say Zelda. It's actually oh. a very common answer. It's a wind instrument, and some hang around your neck. Alright, so I'm going to ask you for the name of the instrument, and I want you to describe it in half a sentence. It is a flute. Um, metal rod. Okay, what is a halberd? A halberd? That is a trick question. It's actually a medieval weapon. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> what is an ocarina? Have you by any chance heard of the ocarina? Um, Legend of Zelda. What if I were to tell you the ocarina is much older than your Zelda games? Now we are trying to show that there is more to the ocarina than Zelda. In addition to being used in Harvest Moon and several other role-playing games, the Ocarina also made appearances in Bleach, Naruto, and Pokemon. It even showed up in the 1965 Addams Family. And the Jun was used in Miyazaki's classic 1988, a very similar Chinese instrument. Check that, by the way. The Aztecs and the Mayans would have used a very simplified version of this uh, that would have had less holes, and they would have used it in their ceremonial purposes and also for song and dance. The ocarina made its way back to Europe, where an Italian by the name of used to be Donati, I really don't know if I'm saying his name right, um, further developed the ocarina into the elongated shape which we know today. There are many different styles of ocarina. This is an example of a pendant ocarina. As you can see, it's small, it has holes on top and some holes on the bottom transverse or sweet potato ocarina with 12 holes. Um, this is about the most standard uh, variety that you're going to get. This actually is an example of a sculptural ocarina. As you can see, it is built to look something like, I don't know what this is, some sort of fish or seal. <laughs> but Any idea what this is made out of? Uh, a gourd. Metal maybe? There are metal ones. And I feel like a glass one would be a really, really bad idea, but it probably could be made. I am still waiting for a glass ocarina, by the way, if any makers are out there watching this video. It, sometimes it's made of wood, sometimes clay. Um, clay is the most uh, common. They're known for having the elongated style, um, like this. This is a double chamber, so it has both the lower and the higher registers. So if you'd like to hear it, I can just yeah, play, play it, um, it real quick for you. But uh... Are you good? <laughs> Really cool to play it looks really interesting yeah so if you want i can actually let you try this ocarina so yes i'm going to trust you with this this is a very <laughs> nice <ocarina. laughs> yeah please don't no, but um and now you just lift this finger and then just you know lift that one and that one and that one and that will help you go up the scale <laughs> yeah like this yep and then this like hand so? yeah goes over and wraps around that way ah. yep. and then let your two thumbs find the thumb holes okay Yep. <laughs> he's, he's getting the idea, folks. He's getting the idea. Could I learn Zelda's lullaby? I can teach you Zelda's lullaby. <laughs> no way, that's legit. Okay. Your thumbs go down in the thumb holes right there. You just played a whole scale. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so put these two fingers, and then, and then, then this. Then three. Yep. Two, two, zero, three. Two, three. Yep. Okay. I started getting into the ocarina a few years ago when I got my first one, and 
it's really taken off from what started as just something I was doing for fun, really to a hobby I'm, I'm doing all the time. And uh, one of my favorite things about it is that because it is still being made by craftsmen who craft these ocarinas individually, one at a time by hand, you can get makers of equivalent quality, but their ocarinas between these separate brands can have completely different tones, but yet they're still good instruments. So it just, you have this feeling that every ocarina has its own individual personality. It's like its own like heart to it. And so you really get the option of, of what song you want to play and what ocarina. And just the, the fact that they're, they're portable, they're small, you can pick it up, you can take it with you anywhere, you can pull it out at any, you know, random place to start playing a song. And, and that's, that's really like a, what I liked about it, because music is meant to be shared, it's meant to be enjoyed by other people, it's meant to be, be spread, it's not just to be enjoyed in your room, it's, it's almost like a way of communication. I think the ocarina is just a great way to do that.